We have just received some insane new information about Prodigy's battle update. Prodigy has added two new articles to their Zendesk page, and they have made a post on the Prodigy wiki. These posts have provided us with an abundance of insane information about Prodigy's battle update. There is a lot to break down, so let's begin. On March 2nd, Prodigy added this article to their Zendesk page. This article gives an overview of the battle update and has a Q&A option down at the bottom as well. First off, we have direct confirmation that the battle update is coming very soon. Right here, the article says that the battle update is gradually being rolled out to all Prodigy players everywhere. So now not only new accounts can get it, it is in beta testing for old accounts as well. Over the coming weeks, this update will be released to many accounts in Prodigy, so you can expect to get the battle update very soon. Right here they mention the areas that are currently closed off, the Dark Tower, Harmony Island, Crystal Caverns, and the Arena. This is confirmed to be because of the complexity of the battle update. In the Q&A section we get a bit more information about this. They mention that these areas have been closed off for the time being and say that there will be updates if and when they come back. The second new article elaborates more on the workings of the battle update. Here they bring up that some pets are now able to cast shadow spells. As they say, these pets include Squally, Tempest, Flurious, Squibble, Squabble, Squirrel, Cloaker, Arbite, Shade, Spectral, Blue Fury, Mag Mayhem, and Griff Room. This is not a limitation of these pets, though, since Mimic and Eclipse can also cast Shadow Spells. Here they bring up the five healing spells. The healing spell for Fire is Soothing Flare. The healing spell for Ice is Invigorate. The healing spell for Plant is Fresh Scent. The healing spell for Storm is Replenish and the healing spell for water is Rejuvenate. Here we have a chart that shows the new attack modes. There are five new attack modes. Single, Area of Effect, Multiple, Area of Effect Multiple, and Random. A single hit is a regular attack that will hit one enemy of your choice. Remember that you can choose that enemy now in this new version of Prodigy. The icon for this is a simple element icon. An area of attack spell is just like an area spell in current Prodigy. If you use an area of effect spell, it will attempt to hit all of the members of the opposing side. The icon for these spells is a simple elemental icon, but with a ring around it. A multiple attack is an attack that will hit one enemy of your choice multiple times. Based on what I know, these spells are generally not very powerful and will not always hit the opponent. If you see a spell that has three elemental icons, then you know it is a multiple spell. Then there are area of effect multiple spells. These are spells that will attack all enemies and hit them multiple times. The icon for these spells will be the triple elemental icons with a ring around them. And lastly, there are random attacks. These are also known as dice attacks since there is a dice on the elemental icon. This attack will hit one enemy at random. Here, Prodigy has provided us with a very useful chart that shows the strengths and weaknesses of different elements. The strengths and weaknesses have changed a bit in this new version of Prodigy, so I would suggest keeping this chart available for reference as you learn to battle in new Prodigy. Let's look at what this tells us. The new element, Physical, is strong against Astral. Fire is strong against Ice. Ice is strong against Plant, or as it is now called, Earth. Plant is strong against Storm. Storm is strong against water. Water is strong against fire. Shadow is strong against every element except for Astral. And Astral is strong against Physical and Shadow. Once again, I recommend that you save this chart and use it as you learn to battle in New Prodigy. 
So this is all of the new information that we have just received from Prodigy themselves on the new battle update. They have confirmed that it will be coming to all accounts in the upcoming weeks. They have provided us with useful information on how this new battle update works, and they have also said that this update will improve the consistency of their future updates. I will link the two articles that I showed in this video in the description so that you can look at them yourself. We have a lot to look forward to in Prodigy over the next few months. I will be sure to let you all know about everything new that is released, and of course I will make a video when my account receives the battle update. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment your thoughts about Prodigy's battle update down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Prodigy content.